Fractally wrong. I get I, uh, yeah. I get email from incredibly <laughs> confused people. I get snail mail here. It, this this came for me while I was gone. Um, it's a lovely letter from someone who's very confused. They printed it out in rainbow fonts. It's, uh, it's not all caps to their credit. <laughs> it's it's not very gay. Uh, we don't know each other, but God knows both of us as well as everyone in the world, both living and dead, even those souls still yet to be born into the world. Okay? Wow. Prove it. <laughs> I, I understand you believe that. Prove it. God created you in his image and likeness, and he loves you dearly. God has a plan and a purpose for your life, and he wants you to be saved from burning forever in the lake of fire with Satan and his minion, his demons. Uh, he didn't capitalize Satan there. Ah. Just imagine that. No, I'd rather not imagine it, because I think that's what you're doing, is imagining it uh, until you come up with something that actually serves as proof. But just imagine that. Burning forever in the lake of fire with Satan and his demons. Forever. What an awful thought. And yet, sadly, that is where all who reject God's offer of salvation will find themselves. And I'll editorialize here, because his God is a thug who will punish you for not believing. Yep. Uh, I don't want you to go there, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm sure that you think this is all fictional, some kind of delusional fantasy or ancient Jewish folklore, but I assure you that it's reality. Well, what good is your assurance? I'm curious as to what caused you to become an atheist. Ah, I tried to be the best Christian I could be. Uh, do you really think all this came from nothing? <laughs> uh, I do not need to know you to understand you, and you do not need to know me to understand me. We are so different, and yet we are the same in my life. I've laughed, and so have you. I've loved, and so have you. I've been rejected, and so have you. I have cried, and so have you. I have suffered, and so have you. I have known joy, and blah, 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 blah. We are in this boat together. Please read the gospel tracts enclosed in this envelope. The gospel tracts enclosed in this envelope are, uh, why am I here? Uh, challenged by an atheist, does God really answer prayer? I'll bet that's entertaining. Uh, this, one's, this one's actually mildly clever. It says, there is no God. This uh, quotation is from the Bible, and it is. Because Psalm 14, 1 says, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, uh, almost, this is evolution in Christianity. Um, characteristics of the self-life, measure yourself. And then my personal favorite, a tract from Lee Strobel on the evidence for God. Oh, the evidence, <laughs> this is the pamphlet, the evidence of God. Uh, possibility one is Darwin. Possibility two is design. Oh, they say design wins. Sweet. <laughs> Big surprise. Well, you know you're loved, Matt. It's great. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Let's take calls. Okay. I haven't Sounds taken good. enough calls in months. <laughs>